how we can practice ourselves so that we can handle our emotion, we can uh, process our emotion. So the first step is to understand the nature of the emotion that they are layers. And I explained to you that if it's uh, near the surface, then you can see. Once it's deep, it's difficult for you to notice your emotion. And uh, this is my model of emotion based on my understanding. Maybe different people will have different model of understanding of emotion because you know emotion is uh, at some point is subjective, which means that it depends on each person, and at some point is objective, which is like everybody has the same thing. Right. So once you understand your emotion, you can do your own model of uh, layers of emotions. Okay. So continue from this. Um, the understand the nature of emotion. Another thing is that it piles up. Sometimes you feel anger and it doesn't process or uh, yet you did not understand why you feel anger um, yet. So you, you normally people try to keep their emotion away, right? Especially the one that we don't like. So the, once it happened, it become a small balloon inside uh, us. Uh, it happened again, we push it away again, it becomes bigger balloon and bigger and bigger and bigger. And once it's reached one point when it's too big, anything can trigger the balloon to pop. Anything small can trigger the big balloon to pop. And that become explosion, it become a tantrum. Sometimes, you know, sometimes very small thing can make people very angry. That small thing is not the cause of the anger of that person, but the pile up of anger is the cause of that explosion. Uh, okay, the second thing is that we will watch ourselves, watch our reaction. Let's say when we feel angry, what happened to our body? Like for me, for example, if I feel angry, I will get hot in my ear. I will get uncomfortable in my stomach my thought will start getting negative and then observe my behavior. Maybe sometime I will shout, maybe sometime I will try to keep it in myself. I mean, just observe what happened when each emotion come. Like for example, when you feel joy, you will smile on your face, your eyes will become big, right? You want to move around so much energy. Your thought is positive about that thing that made you feel joy. Anger, as I explained later, you, some people feel hot all over their head, right? So observe this thing, what happened to your body. When you feel fear, you feel small, you feel you don't, uh, you are weak, you don't want to face it. When you feel sad, you want to be alone, you want to cry. Some person want to talk to uh, another person and cry together, right? So just observe yourself. Once you see the pattern, you will understand more what's um, uh, how do I react to this emotion and what can I change my behavior? Let's say if I get angry, maybe I will talk bad to that person that made me angry. But once I observe myself more and more and more, uh, one day I will have the ability to control my behavior, to change uh, my behavior when I'm angry. Uh, same thing to other emotions. Um, another step is that to remind yourself that every emotion, it has the starting point and it has the ending point. It will not stay forever for all emotion, happiness, sadness, fear, hate, pain. It has a starting point and it will end. If you process this uh, in, in a correct way, okay? Uh, every feeling, every emotion, it's totally normal. It's, it's nature for human being to feel. We are the living thing that has the ability to think, but our main, thing, our main core is ability to feel. Uh, some scientists, they said we are the living, uh, sorry, some scientists, they said we are the feeling animal that can think 
We are not the thinking animal that can feel. So, uh, so feeling is the core of our our being. The thinking is the extra ability that come later. Okay, and there is always a way. There is always a way to understand your emotion, to deal with your emotion, to behave in another way when you feel some certain emo emotion. Now, some emotion is not easy to, to process with, to face with, like, let's say, fear. Uh, fear is, is very powerful. It's, it's many times when you feel fear, you don't notice that you are fear. You will notice when you are angry or you will notice when you are sad. So some emotion is very difficult to, to face. And by practice, by observing ourselves, by understanding ourselves, what makes us feel this way, we will be good at it in some way. Um, okay, the next step is we use the tools. Like for example, uh, okay, communication and ask question. Say when I get angry, I will ask question, oh, what makes me feel angry? So ask the right question what makes me feel angry and, and see what the answer might come up. Maybe at the first time you will not see any answer. Keep repeating, asking the same question to yourself. Uh, the, the answer will come. Communicate, to talk about your feeling. Let's say if uh, I'm angry at Tisho Mark, right? The, the best way is, to, is for me to talk to Tisha Mark, that Tisha Mark, I feel angry because of this, this, this. And, you know, let's say if Tisha Mark tell me something and I feel angry, right? If I talk bad to Tisha Mark, that will make Tisha Mark angry and we will start fighting, right? But if I talk to Tisha Mark, and Tisha Mark, I feel angry because of this, of this, of this. Now Tisha Mark will understand me that I am angry and this is the reason that I'm angry, right? And the communication will help us express ourselves too. Now, if um, we are adult and we have kids, right? The communication that we can do is that when your kid is angry or fear or sad, we will act like a mirror. How is that we see if our kids or our children or our student is angry. So we reflect the back, uh, we reflect that back to them like, Oh, you seem angry. Are you angry? Ask question using the emotion vocabulary. So kids, they will learn that, oh, what they are feeling right now is this emotion. And it will help them in long term to understand their emotion better. Okay. Uh, the next tool is you can search in the uh, Google and you can find emotion wheel. So how, um, let's say I'm feeling something and and I don't know what it is. So when I look at these tools, emotion wheel, maybe it will help me to understand more. Uh, this one is the very basic um, emotion wheel. It, it has a picture in it. So this is very good if you are young, you feel something, you look at it. Oh, I'm feeling sleepy now. Oh, I'm feeling tired now, right? Sometimes you don't know the words, but you know that these are the emotion that I'm feeling. So you can point out this is what I feel. Um, they are more complex emotion wheels and even more complex. Uh, this is the one that my supervisor suggests me to use. Sometimes I don't know what I'm feeling, but when I go through all this, I start getting the idea. What is that feeling that I'm feeling? So it's surprisingly it just go to go through all this uh, vocabulary and and at some point something will pop up and oh yeah I'm feeling like this. So th these tools are uh, very useful. There are some websites that that uh, can help too. I will show it in the end. And the last step is that we have to be responsible for our behavior when we feel emotion let's say i'm angry at someone and i punch that one right or i talk back to that one when i'm calm down 
I have to be responsible for my behavior. Uh, I punish that guy. I need to go talk to that guy, apologize to them, and see if what can I do to make them feel better. If I talk bad to that person, I will have to apologize to that person, and see what I, what can I do so that person can feel better, can forgive me from what I did. Okay. Now let's come to the last part. So last week I, I explained to you that if you observe your emotion, you can, at some point you can understand them and at some point you can control them. Like for example, actors, actor and actress, um, if the director want them to cry, they can cry right away. If, if they need to be angry, then they, they, can ang uh, they can be angry right away, right? And they can't do that if they are not familiar with their emotion. They can't do that if they are not understand uh, about their emotion. And because of, I love excitement a lot. And I reach a point where I understand all the process of the excitement of myself. Let's say when I get excitement, what is going on with my body? I feel uh, there's a rush of power coming from my bottom of uh, my stomach coming up to my neck and to my head and that's when I get excited and I observe it so many times until I can imitate it so I can be excited anytime anywhere that I want and I will show you now <laughs> you see I'm, I'm very excited right now and <laughs> yeah so and I can cool it down right away Okay, now the ex excitement is gone. And at the beginning, I try to imitate that rush of energy by squeezing my, my uh, abdominal muscles. And that pushed the, the, the tension up and I feel the similar sensation of, the, of when I feel excitement. And I can, um, at some point, I try to relate it with the you know when you want to increase the speaker volume you will move it like this right so at the beginning i will do it like this like i will increase my excitement level i will do it again okay <laughs> okay now i'm very excited again right now i'll cool it down okay so when i can do this i realize that i can do this to all emotion if i understand them well enough but because i love excitement so that gives me motivation to understand the excitement to understand the process body sensation what is going on but i don't like anger i don't like fear i don't like negative emotion so it's hard for me to observe them it's hard for me to understand them and imitate and at the end get the ability to control them but with all this, what I'm saying, if uh, some emotion is, is not easy to handle and you don't want to face it, that's why naturally you want to push it away. But I will tell you, it will never go away. It will stay in your mind, consume your energy, uh, giving less ability for you to have conscious uh, thought. And it will become very easy for you to trigger and lose your, uh, lose your cool, right? So, um, one of the tools I use for myself is I will write down, okay, today what happened to me and, you know, writing is, is like a physical express also. So when you write, you are putting your energy out and at some point you will start understand something. Um, if you have somebody who, who you can trust enough, you can talk to them about your emotion. Talking is the most effective way to understand your emotion. If you cannot do that, then there is writing, then maybe there is exercise. When you are exercising, think about your emotion, what is going on. Oh, I'm angry. I run faster. I'm angry. I punch faster, right? If you punch the back, right? There are so many ways for you to express that emotion. If you want to know more details, email me. I will, I will provide you with more information. Thank you very much.